Mr. Gopinathan at TCS has been elevated to the role of the Chief Executive Officer in February 2017. He was serving as the Chief Financial Officer since 2013. And of course, we know that in 2022, he was reappointed as the Managing Director and CEO for five more years. And now the latest information coming in that he's stepping down as Managing Director and CEO of TCS. He's going to step down from the company and he's going to pursue other interests is what we know. Managing Editor of ET Now, Nikunj Dalmia, joining us on the phone line to tell us more about uh, this uh, big development as far as TCS is concerned. Nikunj, uh, do help us understand uh, the significance of uh, this change of leadership at TCS. Uh, it is breaking news indeed, Vikram, because I think this is more like a bolt out of the blue. TCS has done wonderfully well under Rajesh's Gopinathan. I've had several interactions with him. And every time, you know, you met him, you pretty much have got a sense that TCS is, there is a reason why TCS has a commanding market share and it is a market leader, both in terms of growth and margin. Now remember, Raj, TCS has, the, the previous migration, what we saw in change of leadership was Chandra when he made a way for Rajesh, but that was more like not a planned migration. That was more like a full forced migration because Chandra went on to become the chairman of uh, Tata Sons. Before that, the the, the baton was passed from Mr. Ramadurai to TCA to Chandra, and that was a planned migration. The fact that Rajesh Gopinathan has decided to call it quits or has decided to pursue other things which we don't have details of. In middle of a tenure, at a time when TCS is firing full cylinders and they are leading the industry growth, comes that bit of a surprise. Markets do enjoy a certain degree of comfort with the Rajesh because he's, in a sense, managed to muster TCS in tough times, especially during the COVID times. His whole strategy of taking TCS cloud, uh, uh, you know, cloud uh, platform forward, in a sense, is something which markets have appreciated. Now, since this appears more like a choice which Rajesh has decided to move on, the question is that why were Tata's and why were Tata's not able to uh, stop him? What is that other interest which he is pursuing? And what really would be the immediate impact of that? The successor, what TCS has released, the gentleman who will take over from Rajesh, is is someone whom I have personally not interacted with. So the question is that why is that? You got the BFSI vertical head who suddenly takes over here. Because last time when Rajesh took over, Rajesh was well groomed in that job before Chandra quit as the CFO. And then he automatically took over. So there are not question marks, but there is curiosity that why is Rajesh quit? The gentleman who's taking over, what role will he be able to play? And will he be able to really fill in the shoes of Rajesh Gopinathan? Because I think Rajesh, in a sense, has really uh, steered India's biggest IT company to new heights under his leadership. Vikram? Nikun, do you expect a significant impact of uh, this uh, news on the stock come uh, opening tomorrow on TCS counter? I expect that, Vikram. Now, it's difficult to quantify what, but I guess I expect it. And I'm taking a leap from what's happened to Infosys. If you really look at Infosys, the stock is not far away from its 50 to week high, and that's largely because of two key exits which have happened. Now, Rajesh's exit has come as a, as a big surprise because I don't think, frankly, there were any growth issues with TCS. The margins are best in the industry. So it just makes you curious that at a time when TCS is gaining market share, has got a commanding market share, it is Tata's, uh, you know, cash cow and the most profitable IT company in India and the most profitable company for Tata's, uh, Tata Group per se. Why is there a change of guard? Uh, you know, Tech Mahindra was suffering, so there was a change of guard there. Vipro has their own challenges, so there was a change of guard there. Infosys had series of succession planning. But Tata's are known for planned succession, Vikram. They are not known. Their CEOs normally plan their tenure, complete their tenure, and the successors is placed in. So why and how is something which I guess uh, markets will be really mulling over, and they would be speculating over tomorrow. Nikunj, this also comes at a time when the tech sector is going through its own upheaval. So... Uh, uh, to that extent, this is going to have that much more uh, significance in terms of a management shift in a company that has been the leader in terms of management style that Rajesh Gopinath has, uh, is going to be leaving behind. Uh, do, uh, you did touch upon that. If you can just elaborate for us, what was his uh, leadership style that helped steer the company through tough times? 
Oh, I mean, the biggest, uh, uh, you know, if, if you frankly ask in the tough times were the COVID times. COVID time is when you had the whole migration from uh, uh, from on-site to work at home. And that's the time, I guess, Rajesh was really able to navigate the entire TCS uh, uh, you know, TCS workforce brilliantly. Unlike a lot of other IT companies, startups when they migrated from, uh, you know, a, a from uh, the old uh, enterprise business to digital uh, digital migration, I guess uh, Tata's decided or TCS decided not to lay off anyone. So that's the second interesting aspect. Third, they have got best margins in the industry, and the reason why they have the best margins in the industry is because. Perhaps they are one of the you know best growths in the industry. Uh, so it, it 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 is a bit puzzling, Vikram, if you frankly ask me, because there is no fundamental factor, there is no company specific factor which I can recall of. Uh, and Chandra and uh, you know the other board members whom I personally know, I think they have had an excellent record. They have an excellent relationship with Rajesh. So put it to put it very simple, uh, Vikram, TCS is India's largest IT company. It is a jewel in the crown for Tatas. Rajesh Gopinathan, in a sense, was the most powerful CEO of of the Tata Group. He was doing a great job in managing TCS. Under his leadership, TCS has managed to grow to industry commanding margins. His exit has certainly come as a surprise. I personally known him for more than 10 years, and every time I've interacted with him, I've seen him blossom in the various roles as a CFO first and then the CEO first. Remember, he was interested to lead the company at a very young age. Uh, suddenly, that happened after Chandra was uh, Chandra took over the mantle as the chairman of uh, Tata Sons. And that's the time what could be called as a migration. It was not a planned migration. It was a, it was a forced migration, but he adopted it. It, it, it has come as, as a surprise to me, and I'm also telling you that nowhere in the market there was any kind of speculation, any kind of buzz, any kind of rumor, even though we claim that you know we got a year's close to the ground, I guess this is something which I was not able to gather. And Nikunj, you did uh, point out as far as the choice of the CEO now, the CEO designate is K. Uh, Kriti Vasan, and of course, as far as his um, stint at TCS is concerned, what can you tell us about him? Uh, we know very little about him so far, don't we? We know a little about him, but you have to remember that, look, you know, what is the most important vertical for uh, TCS? The most important vertical for Indian IT sector is essentially the BFSI vertical. That is the bread and the butter business. So anybody who really is going to be coming uh, with uh, from the BFSI vertical will, in a sense, will be uh, well aware of what the entire, uh, you know, core business of TCS is. Uh, but the... The puzzling, you know, apart from Rajesh's Gopinathan, Vikram, I guess the change of guard is TCS is happening at a time where, in general, you know that there are some dark clouds on the horizon, especially after what's happening to the European banks and the American banks uh, in the light of what has happened first to SVP and then to Credit Suisse. So could this really be a exit which could also coincide with some industry challenges? Look, it is very important to have a strong leadership in place, especially at a time when the industry per se is going through its growth pangs. Indian IT industry, which in a sense got completely re-rated post the COVID, uh, that sugar rush, that honeymoon period is over. Now is the reality. Reality has dawned on the Indian IT sector that they are also going to be cyclical and they will have their own set of challenges if the global cycle is slowing down. So TCS migration is coming, uh, TCS Change of guard is coming at a time where, in general, the sector is getting, uh, you know, bulldozed at least uh, because of global slowdown in growth. Okay, I think Omkar is also ready with us. Let's get his first view going from on this. Omkar, thank you for joining us at such a quick notice. Uh, uh, Omkar, what's your first reaction? Do you think this is going to have a uh, gut-wrenching impact, so to speak, on the stock price tomorrow morning when markets open? Yeah, I mean, definitely there uh, there might be an, you know, impact uh, negatively by stepping down of uh, Rajesh Gopinathan because of the uncertainties going around. There might be an delays in the spend cuts. They, you need a lot of interaction with the clients and the leadership. Uh, Mr. Rajesh Gopinathan is well executor in terms of, you know, project deliverables and getting the deals uh, in, in their pipeline. 
so there might be a negative uh, impact uh, for the tomorrow a couple of days more but i believe there will not be any uh, fundamental change as of now because you know kriti uh, kriti vasan uh, kriti vasant has been uh, is a leading bfsi vertical which is predominantly a larger chunk of the revenue for the tcs is there there with the tcs from 1989 so i believe uh, that kind of an you know we knows vertical and uh, maybe a company very well so he might get an you know uh, execution part uh, very well uh, i do not see any uh, immediate fundamental impact on the revenue side or any supply side uh, or execution capabilities but we need to see uh, in in a longer run how leading the company going ahead Omkar uh, this is Vikram coming to you from the Mumbai studios I was also wondering as far as the clients of TCS are concerned this uh, kind of uh, shift in management uh, how is that going to change uh, uh, their outlook at uh, how TCS delivers what it has known to deliver over this long period of time Yeah I mean there will be definitely uh, near term challenges that you know need to taken care of I, but I believe uh, that you know kriti vasant is uh, been taking care of bfsi vertical uh, for long uh, long ago uh, that you know need to see how it is been uh, you know uh, picking up but i believe uh, as of now or or immediately one should not uh, worry about uh, change in the leadership uh, going ahead uh, as far as mr Kriti Vasan is concerned the CEO designate of uh, TCS as far as uh, his role is concerned the role he's played at TCS at the helm of affairs of BFSI uh, how do you think his uh, uh, ability is going to actually shine in this uh, new role as CEO now Yeah definitely I mean uh, he was handling around 30 40% odd revenues uh, uh of the tcs which which is definitely a definitely a, a big chunk of the revenues uh, but i believe uh, tcs has now become uh, the, the next gen services and you know uh, there are a lot of capabilities has been added to their portfolio so i believe we must be you know uh, taking care of you know of, uh, a major broad based growth of the manufacturing of the retail side which also major contributes to the revenue as well so i believe uh, one should uh, see rather than you know uh, bfsi they they must concentrate i mean they are going, now he is going to concentrate on uh, broad based growth of the tcs going ahead because yes, definitely uh, bfsi will likely to continue being a uh, you know a uh, 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 major major contributor to the revenue and you know after the uh, you know uh, there is an uncertainties and svb issues there my uh, bfsi vertical may impact uh, on immediate basis but uh, you know uh, he is being expert in in terms of bfsi vertical which may taken care of uh, in a better part let's uh, get another perspective as well trip choudhury is joining us managing director equity research uh, for global equities research great to have you with us trip uh, now how are you digesting this news like uh, nikunj was asking uh, omkar just a moment ago Do you expect a gut-wrenching impact on the TCS stock uh, when we open for trade tomorrow? Actually, I think the bigger picture is what is the IT environment? As you know, the economies of USA and Europe are on the verge of collapsing. The financial crisis is there. IT budgets are down 15 to 25 percent. This is the new normal. Move, changing the ceo is the right approach tcs will need to change the narrative who is tcs and other indian it services companies still relevant in a declining it spend environment and where a lot of projects are getting cancelled so what kind of new services and new narratives are all indian itc it uh, com- services companies are going to provide is going to be critical and change the ceo preactively pre- 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 is very good move from, from tcs because a new face with a new narrative and soon new services will need to be launched otherwise the stocks of not just tcs but the whole itc services could collapse this is a very good preemptive move from 
TCS, and it should be, I, I think, rewarded because they are being proactive. But the economics of the world is deteriorating. So, you know, we have to have that context. Certainly, that's a different perspective on uh, this huge uh, breaking news piece right now. As far as TCS is concerned, they're going in for a management shift. And uh, uh, Mr. Gopinathan is stepping down. Uh, he, of course, was elevated to the role of Chief Executive Officer back in February 2017. And typically, we know that the Tatas go in for a very planned process uh, when it comes to management shifts. That's not the case over here. The markets are likely uh, not uh, going to take this uh, too kindly, and we'll see exactly how the impact uh, plays out on the stock tomorrow. But uh, for the moment, that's where we are leaving it. This is the change of guard over at TCS, and that's the big story we're tracking right now, and we'll continue to do so.